The No New Friends Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. For the best in below-the-waist grooming, visit manscaped.com. Use promo code NNF for 20% off. That is manscaped.com. Great, but... The internet was not great. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that is like when Chris is in town, when Chris is home, he could be radio silent for three days and I don't hear from him. Yeah. He's in Alaska with crappy Wi Fi. I hear from him every five minutes. Yeah, I was, was trying. Super strange. I need to make sure that Scott knew that none of the Eskimos kidnapped me. And listen, I'm going to call them Eskimos. You can't say no, no, Eskimos. No. Mm-hmm. no, listen, listen, I've been there. I can say it now. So and, wait a second. We can't say the N word, but you can say Eskimo. Uh, it's little, the same thing. Um, a little different. Uh, no, it's the same thing. Different. Were Eskimos can't. enslaved, you, Scott, and belittled by the white man? No, but they're offended by the name Eskimo. No, they're so not. They're offended. No, they're not. Because guess There's, what? Guess how many people exploited the name Eskimo? Eskimos jewelers. <laughs> Eskimos paint gallery. You ever think you're going to see like N-words jewelers or N-words paint galleries? <laughs> <laughs> no one's doing that. No one's you doing can that. Only, they only say N-word when they're in like a predominantly African-American town because you, they can say that. I they're beg to differ. To uh, the hard R is never said. The hard O for Eskimo is is broadcasted throughout <laughs> Alaska. But you know what the sad part is? Is because like I, I I told everyone that I was traveling with, I was like, listen, you cannot say Eskimo. It's Google, 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 into it. It's into it uh, because I didn't know I had to Google it. It's into it, people. And once I Googled it on the ship, after 45 minutes of letting the page load because of the cruise's Wi-Fi, I did figure out. And like I said, I did encounter an into it person. It did take me 45 minutes to initiate a conversation because I needed to let that page load first. So I was like, I was like, guys, it's 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 into it. And they're like. And I was like, just imagine the the payroll service without the T. It's not into it. It's in, it's into it. Broadcasting from the Sandpiper Vacation Studios. It's time for the No New Friends podcast. The podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting. The good, the bad, and the funny. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go. It's showtime. It's showtime. That's right. You're listening to the No New Friends podcast, voted number one by our friends and family and number three by Orlando Weekly. We are the podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting. Now, if you'd like to connect with us on all of our social media, all of our links are right there on our website, nonewfriendspodcast.com. While you're there, you can check out our really sweet merchandise. Also, join our clubhouse and become a friend with benefits. No, that's not One Night with Mary. That is uh, our Patreon. And you can watch us record all of our uh, interviews, all of our episodes live on our discord now we do stream every wednesday night right around eight o'clock and then again at 10 o'clock on twitch that's twitch.tv slash nnf podcast if you listen to us on apple and spotify please leave us a five-star review and rating we love that stuff and it really really helps us out my name is scott i'm the host with me as always my amazing talented co-host she's everybody's favorite food truck critic sarah hello our emotional support gay nick hello our producer, Alex. I'm back, and this time with Vengeance. And the scumbag reselling order himself, Chris. Okay, so I was going to do a movie quote. It was going to be <laughs> Eat My Shorts, which is from... The Sandlot. The Breakfast Club. You got the mm. right. You got the right. <laughs> was close. I'm so I was close. disappointed in myself. But I just want to express how jealous I am that not one, but now two of our co-hosts, their intro is just, hello. And it sounds great. I can never do that. <laughs> Unless it's a movie quote. <laughs> we can change it. I, we can t- I'm not married to it. I was going to do something different, but Piper came in like right as you're introducing right me. Right as your introduction came. In fact, I saw that and I could She gave me like a little heart shape and I'm like... Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can do it's it again. It's okay. Yeah. I'm flattered, Nick. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> Copying, you know, it's the best form of flattery. You should trademark hello. <laughs> and with that being said, Nick is about to light up a joint. Um, so, how is everybody, Chris? You're you are back into the continental U.S. Uh, you were in Alaska last week. He was basically in Russia. 
<laughs> yeah, basically in Russia. <laughs> I, I could see Russia from my back, uh, my back porch. I guess it was. Could a you porch. really? Yeah, of course. Uh, Sarah is it Pray that close? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll tell you like what. When I look on a map, Russia's all the way on the other yeah. side of the map. I'll tell you what. Like Alaska's on the far left, and Russia's on the far right. I took. And a, we all know the Earth is flat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I took a vacation to Juno. Uh, no relation to Sarah. Um, Juno <laughs> is not because I just said I said I kind of said Jew Scott. No, <laughs> I kind of said Wait, it hit me. No, she's not Juno. She's Jew. Yes. So I thought Juno was on like one of those really like tippy tippy tip like islands in Alaska. It's not like at all. Uh, we didn't do geography in my school, so <laughs> they didn't in uh, Game Master Ryan's either. First of all, do you want to give a shout out to uh, Nick from Sandpiper, one of our co-hosts? <laughs> Go the hell over to sandpipervacation.com if you want to book a vacation because my whole family, the whole, like, we talked more about sandpiper vacations than we did about Alaska while we were on vacation. <laughs> uh, every, I felt like I was on this podcast plugging sandpiper every, like, every couple hours. Like, can you believe that this is free? Like, can you believe that these services are free, guys? I, I, I cannot, I, I, this is not even satire. It's not even a joke. I cannot tell you how many times I brought it to my parents, like, why don't people use travel agents? Uh, like, right. We didn't have to do any of this nick did it well, and, your mo- and your mom sent me like some really amazing like comments last night and some pictures from your trip so it was really awesome i'm glad she did because i did not send feedback. nick any any yeah, pictures I, uh, <laughs> I, we barely heard from you i think no. because well partially because the internet wasn't great but. the internet was not great <laughs> you know what's crazy about that is like when chris is in town when chris is home he could be radio silent for three days and I don't hear from him. Yeah. He's in Alaska with crappy Wi-Fi. I hear from him every five minutes. Yeah, I was <laughs> trying. Was super strange. I need to make sure that Scott knew that none of the Eskimos kidnapped me. And listen, I'm going to call them Eskimos. You can't say no, no, Eskimos. No. Mm-hmm. no, listen. Listen, I've been there. I can say it now. So and, wait a second. We can't say the N-word, but you can say Eskimo. Uh, it's little, the same thing. Um, a little different. Uh, no, it's the same thing. Different. Were Eskimos you enslaved, you... Scott, and belittled by the white man? No, but they're offended by the name Eskimo. No, they're so not. They're offended. No, they're not. Because guess There's... what? Guess how many people exploited the name Eskimo? Eskimos jewelers. <laughs> Eskimos paint gallery. You ever think you're going to see like N-words jewelers or N-words paint galleries? <laughs> <laughs> no one's doing that. No one's you doing can that. Only, they only say N-word when they're in like a predominantly African-American town because you, they can say that. I they're beg to differ. To uh, the hard R is never said. The hard O for Eskimo is, is broad casted throughout a lot <laughs> but you know what the sad part is is because like I, I i told everyone that i was traveling with i was like listen you cannot say ask about it. it's google 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 into it it's into it uh because i didn't know i had to google it it's into it people and once i googled it on the ship after 45 minutes of letting the page load because of the cruise's wi-fi i did figure out that, like listen i did encounter an inuit person it did take me 45 minutes to initiate a conversation because i needed to let that page load first so i was like <laughs> I, I was like guys it's 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 into it and they're like and I was like, just imagine the the payroll service without the T. It's not into it. It's in, it's into it. Um, into it. And that should be a word of the day. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah, I was like, me. so I was like, I was like, speaking speaking of word of the day, I may be moving word of the day to uh, after dark. I haven't decided yet. But if you'd like to send uh, in a word of the day for Remy to try to pronounce, email us no new friends podcast at yahoo.com because I'm tired of him picking easy words. Now it's uh, it's on us. It's on the listeners to come up with words for him. <laughs> so I'm trying so hard to be politically correct, right? And saying into it, into it, into it, into it. We get off the port at Juno, and the person I was traveling with, he starts calling them Indians. You know, <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone from my group checks at me. They're like, "I'm very confused. Are they Indians? Are they what do they call them here in Canada?" That was on the last day of the show because we were in Canada. Like, they're not Native Americans because not America. So, what are we calling these people? They actually call them the First Nations. I kind of like that. I kind of like the First Nations. Makes Native Americans feel racist. Now I want to call the Native Americans the First Nation people. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's not First Nation people. It's the First Nations. Very confusing. Anyway, Justin Trudeau, please don't kill me. So, <laughs> so we go. To, we we get off the port of the, in Juno, and um, the person I'm traveling with calls me over, and it looked like she the the, the distraughtness, if that's a word, on her face. I thought that she that she like was severely ill. I I come 
scooting over to her, which I'll explain in a minute. <laughs> and um, I, say, I feel like you needed to have like uh, an instrument player behind you, like Peter Griffin has the two, but you know, Stewie with the two, or Stewie with that guy, Stewie with the two. But, yeah, but, but yours needs to be a little flute, you know. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so I go over, I, I come speeding over to her above the, above the speed limit. <laughs> you have a little bike belt. Ching, 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 the, the, horn 30 miles was, an hour. the horn was so embarrassing. I did never, I never clicked it, but I, listen, listen, we're going to go back to the beginning in a second, but I do have to talk about this. So I go over to her. I said, what's wrong? And she goes, what are these people called again? And I was like, oh, they're Inuit people. And she points to a sign. It says Eskimo outlet, like right on, right on, <laughs> right, right on the side. And, uh, I had to check it out because I didn't know if they were saying Eskimos or Eskimo themed things. They were selling Eskimo themed things. Uh, slavery was outlawed in the late 1800s. So they were not selling Eskimos. Um, but the, the sign was very misleading. <laughs> so- Okay, but was it owned by an Eskimo or was it owned by uh, uh, the white man? Uh, I'm not I think gonna, that makes a difference. Yeah, not gonna lie, this was satire. Did not check out the store. It felt a little too racist to check out the store, Scott. <laughs> I did not want to give validity to Eskimo uh, on the sign, but it's I, probably owned by the owners of the Moon Cricket Lounge. I, they just put Eskimo <laughs> everything in Alaska. You no, know, it, it, it's such a touchy subject because. Our generation knows, like Eskimo is not right. We have to say Inuit people, or I guess the First Nations. I guess, but why? Right? Why is Eskimo bad? See, I don't. This, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Right, here we go. Here we go. See, like, I, so I'm saying my generation understands that the boomers don't. Like Scott. I, so Scott, I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand I, it I don't either. either. All right, I'm, well, I'm a lot younger than Scott. Well, I'll, t- I mean, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's because Eskimo. <laughs> it's because Inuit was the original name of these people, and like, white people were like, they look like Eskimos. So they now it's what Eskimo. Does an Eskimo I, I look don't like? No. What they wear? They wear. They wear a jacket with a fur lining. <laughs> Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I thought. I'm like, I, I didn't right. realize there was like a race to it. But so, so you know what? Is... If if an Eskimo says Eskimo is racist, I'm not calling you an Eskimo anymore. That's all I know, right? right. Scott's the person. But Scott's clearly a- they're not Listen. calling themselves. Ra- it, clearly they're not saying it's racist because it's on all their signs. No, and then I put two and two together it's because like, okay, a bunch of white folk, like a bunch of rich white folk are our vacation is town. They're not going to know what an Inuit is, but they'll know what an Eskimo is. So we're going to choose Eskimo, Eskimo jewelry and Eskimo. But Scott, you can't you can, you take what Scott says with the greatest soul because Scott on a Friday night's light, he turns to Rachel and he's like, let's order some Oriental food. That's what, that's, that's what, that's what, that's what Scott's doing. And um, <laughs> so anyway. Uh, let's take my trip back. I only want to go to the uh, dry cleaners owned by the Orientals. <laughs> I won't go to the white people uh, dry cleaners. It's got to be the Orientals. Let's let's take this back to the beginning. So I did go on a vacation. I booked it through Sam Perry Vacations. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, did joke. It, and this is a true story. It, it, too. This is this is true. No satire. So um, I I got cleared. I, if you guys did not know, I did tear my Achilles tendon. <laughs> Oh my! What I got? I got clear. That's crazy. Wait, you didn't. Yeah, know, I had I'll no tell the story. So the other. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever quick with you. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> he Nick, well. Nick knows. Nick knows from experience. So, uh. <laughs> so I'm. <laughs> so um, I'm very stressed from this surgery because like, they they slice you down. You want to just be at home because what if I get an infection? What if I do this? What if that? And um, my my post op appointment was on a Wednesday, and my flight left that next day on a Thursday. So didn't even tell this story yet because I was not here. Wednesday, go to the appointment. My doctor goes, um, this was my post-op, two weeks after surgery. He told me two weeks after surgery, we're going to put you in a cast and we're going to, you know, if you want to go to Alaska, he goes, raise that leg. He goes, if you're not raising that leg, your wife will tell me. I said, okay, okay. <laughs> so said, That's true. He goes like, you'll lie to me. She won't. <laughs> So, <laughs> so he goes, if you ever want to slack, think, okay, got to go to Alaska. Got to go to Alaska. So and he said, we're going to put you in a cast to go off to Alaska. So I'm in his office on that Wednesday, the day before we leave to Alaska. And he goes, all right, we're going to put you in a walking boot. I was like, holy shit. Are you serious? Uh, he goes, yeah, you know, we're going to put it. Well, and he told me all the protocol about the walking boot. And I'm thinking me and Emily look at each other. I'm so excited. And then, um, he's, <laughs> We're like almost done the appointment. I say to him, I said, doctor, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't I supposed to be in like a, a cast? He goes, oh, sh-. he 
He goes, yeah, you are. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, we're, not, we're not putting you in a walk. We got to cast you up. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I, was, I was so sad because I think I'm going to go I'm going on this cruise out of cast now. And um, yeah, he goes, you'd be. It matched your outfits, though, which I thought was uh, super gay. Well, I will talk about that in a second. <laughs> I was proud. So he did. He put a hard cast on me. They give me a little pamphlet. Like, what color would you like? Um so they gave I get to, me like, pick and choose now. I got to pick and choose. It was cool. <laughs> so I did go with the Kelly Green because it's almost football season. So I went the uh, mm. Eagles Kelly Green. The, the, the place that I did get my surgery at also does surgery on the Philadelphia Eagles. Humble brag. Just kidding. My insurance covers it. It's not like I can afford it. <laughs> um, so I did go with Kelly Green Eagles, and um, we uh, the night before we left, which was a Wednesday, I go to my parents' house and uh, I look for my suitcase and I said, "Hey, M." Um, can you get one of those hoodies out that I packed uh, for the airplane? And she goes, uh, there's nothing in here. And I forgot to pack all my hoodies going to Alaska. So, oh. so, so I did borrow hoodies from my sister and her boyfriend who lived in my parents' house in my old apartment, in the old commune, if you will. Didn't you do the same <laughs> thing at the uh, Renaissance Fair? I have no idea what you're talking about. Nope. I have no okay. idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always prepared, Scott. So I, uh, so I did borrow a Kelly Green sweatshirt, which matched my cast perfectly, like you said. Super gay of me, right? I wore that. Okay, you wear a hoodie. You're not wearing it as an outfit. You're wearing it because it's cold. You wear it out to, you know, to a place. So I wore that the first two mornings, and then and then I go to take it for the third because we're getting off port. I wore it for like a combined two and a half hours. Uh, we're getting off at Alaska, the third port. I said, hey, Em, where's my 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 hoodie? She goes, I'm not letting you wear that. People are going to notice that your cast matches your hoodie. They're going to know you. They're going to think you're dirty, that you don't have any other any other sweatshirts. You are not wearing that. Uh, so that was the – so, yes, it did match for the first couple of days, Scott. But uh, my wife prevented me from wearing that any any longer, even though it's a hoodie. It's not. A, it's not an undershirt. It's not underwear. Yeah, when, if, if you wear that in Alaska, that's equivalent to going blackface. <laughs> um, I beg to differ. Uh, going blackface <laughs> in Alaska is being in a, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, amazing vacation, but it wouldn't have been amazing without my shower stool that Nick was so <laughs> gracious. I've been waiting to hear about the shower stool for a while. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of gross because, <laughs> it, I, cause I just, okay. So a shower stool for those who don't know is a, is a stool that you use in the shower. Oh, and yeah, that makes sense. Just in case, thank you. Just in case, just in case, just in case, case you're yeah. explaining that to us. Chris. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so I get into my room, no shower stool. I was kind of pissed. I was like, okay, but, what's going on with this? And then I leave and I come back, and and Raleigh, my my uh, <laughs> Filipino um, uh, attendant, my room attendant, because they're they're all Filipino. Are they not or all? Maybe they're Inuit. Maybe they're Inuit. Well, actually, I I can read Scott. He said Philippines. <laughs> all right, <laughs> a lot of a lot of Philippines, which makes sense because on the West Coast. So Raleigh uh, did provide me with a shower stool. Shout out to Sam Piper Vacations for providing me with that. Uh, gross, but I would not be able to shower without it uh, because I'm like sitting on that. And I'm like, wow. I wonder how many people have sat on the shower stool before me. And I wonder how many people peed in the shower or maybe had sexual intercourse or maybe they're not yeah, even yeah. a handicap. Maybe they just want to have some fun. <laughs> they just want to just stall. <laughs> maybe, they just, maybe they're like, hey, I forgot my sex sling at home. Let me use a shower stool instead. Let me get Raleigh, the room attendant, to bring a shower stool in here. So well, my, and I was my, literally just thinking, because you talked about Emily said, or the doctor said you had to have your legs up. I'm like, that's brilliant. Like, you should have brought a sex sling with you on the cruise. I, 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 I Nick, I you was. You both your legs up. I, I was like, listen, this is uh, approved by uh, my travel agent, not my doctor, but my travel agent approves of, 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 of this equipment. Did not work. Because there are magnetic walls in there. We could have gotten very powerful magnets oh, to, yeah. to hold us up. Maybe not me, but. Uh, so anyway, so <laughs> yeah, you need yeah, like the NASA I know, magnets. I know. I, know. Um, <laughs> I would encourage everybody to uh, take a trip to Alaska if they could. What I would not encourage you to do is use the public restrooms in Juneau because people do. Uh, there are active heroin users in those bathrooms, and hmm. when when you catch them using heroin in the bathrooms in Juneau, they look at you like you're not supposed to be there using the bathroom. Like the bathroom, <laughs> I, I, I'm convinced. That that the bathrooms are just used for heroin. They are not actual, like you're not supposed to relieve yourself in them. You're supposed to just uh, use heroin in them. Um, 
I felt I felt I've never felt more out of place in a bathroom than in well, Juno. Did you have to like? So we went to Europe back in June, and we were in Monaco, I believe, and I had to use the bathroom there. Did you have to pay to use the bathroom? Because that's a, that's a thing, thing in your it's that's a, Europe a European thing. thing. Like they have jars out there. And so yeah, I went to the bathroom in Europe, and whoa, whoa, the sorry, Nick, Nick, on the floor. Sarah, excuse me, Sarah, earmuffs. No, you're my <laughs> yes, you do have, yeah. Yeah. Nick. You're right. You have to pay for bathrooms in your yeah. No, it's like the freaking state fair. Diamond only farted. <laughs> but on top of it, you also have to basically poop in the floor because the toilet was like built for a one year old. I used to call that normal. And, and there and there was no. Yeah, that's your height. Um, but there is no toilet seat. So I'm like yeah, paying for yeah. a toilet that has no toilet seat. I'm like, nope. I don't know. Nick. Okay, that- same, but in Asia they do the same thing, but it's uh, it's oh, literally a holes, hole in the ground. Uh, yeah, it's a hole in the ground. You can make money for uh, that on OnlyFans. I was gonna say that <laughs> might have a future in that. I'm taking notes here. Sorry, back to your um your shower still. <laughs> um oh my shower still great. You know, I did put my knee on it more than my uh, bare ass because it was just felt weird. It felt weird. Uh, it felt weird uh, being <laughs> on a chair. Did you just flop your knee on it or? Oh, it flopping everywhere. Yeah, it's flopping <laughs> everywhere. I thought, hold on. Did he say knee as in the, like, I heard, the, I heard the leg or D? Oh, no, knee. Knee. I did uh, not fly her. I'm like, what, what is it? <laughs> slapping it down no. on the thing? Like, I, what is going on in that room? Well, listen, my one leg didn't work. Hey, he's another. Had to use, had to use another. Had to had to compensate. Uh, no, I did use my knee on the sh- on more. And, and uh, Emily was pissed at me because when we got back from vacation, I was like, I learned every part of that room because I only have one leg. Um, so I had to swing from things. And uh, so I'm like, I'm swinging from this little thing outside the door. It was like this little knob. She goes, "That was a towel holder. You were hanging from that." So I guess I'm not obese. I guess I'm. I guess I'm not obese. I was. I was swinging from the towel rack. Meanwhile, the entire boat shifted to one side. <laughs> uh, when did that. Everyone, everyone did not leave their rooms that day. It was very, very <laughs> rocky. All right, Chris, I'm going to cut you off uh, because we're going to do word of the day and then more from uh, Chris's Alaskan vacation in segment two. So here we go. Here's uh, our Lord and Savior, Lord Remy, with this week's word of the day. And it's a doozy. <laughs> God. What is going on, No New Friends Podcast? It is me, Remy, from Remy's Roundtable, also known as your Lord and Savior. Your holiness is here. So, welcome to the Word of the Day, brought to you by my good friends over at Magic Candle Company. So, grab yourself a smell of something that you would like to uh, smell. All right, that's something you can do on your other time. However, we're going to jump right into the Word of the Day, which is ostentatious all right it is a adjective meaning characterized by vulgar or pretentious display designed to impress or attract notice attracting or seeking to attract attention admiration or envy often by god god need godence godi god need it nice g uh g a u d i Godiness. Godnius. Uh, I can't even say the word. It's God Godnius. Alright, Godnius or whatever you want to say the word. Or obviousness. 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 See, I can't say these freaking words, guys. I really can't. Uh here's a se- here's a sentence for you guys and then uh we'll go on from there. The power of the government was present, but it did not express itself in large and ostentatious buildings. So there we go, guys. And the word ostentatious has its origins. It's from Latin. It can be traced back to the Latin word ostentatio, which means display or showing off. The concept of displaying or showing off in a conspicuous or extravagant manner is at the core of the word meaning. In English, ostentatious has retained its fundamental meaning of describing something that is intended to attract attention, often in a flashy or overly elaborate manner manner and there you guys have it that is your word of the day or do the word of the week and that is ostentatious and guys you're listening to the no new friends podcast thank you (laughs) (laughs) thanks for reminding everybody 
<laughs> did he say the word did... ovary or over overly? Because <laughs> I heard ovary. Too. That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> How is it that he was able to pronounce ostentatious but not godliness? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, all right, you're listening to the No New Friends podcast. There are three things that I hate in life. Taxes, nausea, and booking vacations. The first two I'm stuck with, but for the third, I use Sandpiper Vacations. Sandpiper Vacations is a small business that is LGBTQ plus owned and operated with travel advisors all over the country. Whether it's a cruise, a trip to a theme park, or an all-inclusive resort, Sandpiper has you covered. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's free. Why book a vacation when you can have someone else do it for you? That's like choosing to take the stairs in a building that has an elevator. Leave the headaches of booking a vacation to someone else. Get your quote today at www.sandpipervacations.com and tell them that the No New Friends podcast sent you. Psst. Hey, you. You want to join a cult? Well, this might be your lucky day. For just $2 a month and a simple blood oath, you can join our clubhouse and become a friend with benefits. In addition to the amazing feeling of donating to the poor, you will have access to Patreon-exclusive content, live shows, and maybe even a behind-the-scenes look at my secret stash. To get started, head on over to nonewfriendspodcast.com and hit join our clubhouse. Can't wait to see you at the initiation ceremony. Oh, and in the chat during our live shows, of course. Hi, this is Eddie Deason. This is the No New Friends podcast. This is Mandark. <laughs> Welcome back to the No New Friends podcast. We've got so much more of Chris's vacation. Eh, about five more minutes. Uh, but before we get to that, we've got another exciting installment of Travels and Tribulations. Now, when we last left off with the sophisticated gentleman, uh, he was watching the Muppets uh, in search for that item that he's looking for so that he can uh, defeat the Amish and get the Holy Grail and all that. Uh, we're so close to the, the Indiana Jones one. I can taste it. Hopefully it's, it's this week. I, I don't know. We'll see. So uh, here we go. Let's hear uh, what's going on from the sophisticated gentleman. What shall it bring when the gentleman rings on travels and tribulations? What is up, NNF crew? As I mentioned last week, I'm now in the second portion of the gauntlet that, of course, leads to the Holy Grail. Uh... After I get through this golf course that I'm on, I should be in the final tunnel that will lead me to finally finding it. While I'm here, let's take a look at... Is this the one? Is this the one? That's the movie that I'm currently watching because (laughs) normally golf is incredibly boring. (laughs) Luckily, though, this isn't a normal golf that I'll be playing. No, it's... (laughs) <laughs> that we golf <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's right yes. i'm playing we sports golf <laughs> and honestly it's a pretty good thing especially considering that there is no need for chipped golf balls of course in scott's case it's more likely that there is a potato chip on top of a golf ball <laughs> still a little bit boring here though i haven't been this bored since Scott made the Nick Castellanos joke five times in the same episode. (laughs) Or since Chris's conspiracy corner, for that matter. That's fair. That's fair. All right, looks like it's time for tennis. Wow, look at the ball going back and forth there. Reminds me of Game Master Ryan every week trying to decide whether he's angry or at Chris or Scott. (laughs) Whoa, that ball just went right by me. A little bit unexpected, kind of like whether Alex's segment's going to appear in a given episode. (laughs) Please bring it back, Alex. I very much miss it would finally bring some more class to this show. Oh, look at that sports doctor over there. Hello, this is Dr. Frenchy. Oh, God. I am here to tell you today about the Black Leakin Collective Podcast. (laughs) 
All right, here's baseball. I think this actually might be Nick's favorite one of these sports. After all, which other sport has balls and a stick involved? Mm -hmm. Oh man, True. that guy's running faster than Sarah that time that she saw a discount on a food truck. <laughs> their most recent discount was that if Jimmy Carter died within the week, kids would eat free. It'd be an NNF podcast decided to dine there because Chris wouldn't have to pay. Oh, awesome. Now it's time for bowling. Great game. You can put your fingers in the balls, kind of like Chris loves to do. And even if you throw the ball backwards, you might accidentally have the ball get thrown at some people. It reminds me of Scott when he's at the ice cream truck in the park. Hell, it also kind of oh, wow. reminds me of that time that Scott told Dane and me that he loved us. <laughs> I don't remember that. Looks like boxing is the last sport that we've got here. Huh, look at that guy over there. Looks like he's getting ready for a fight. Give me one second, sorry. I can't deal with that that partial anymore. I don't care. Yeah, um, it was like bothering the back of my, my mouth and I'm like, I can't talk if it, something's like going like, nin, nin, nin. Oh my gosh, those fighters are really going at it. They kind of remind me of like Mary and Scott for the first 20 episodes of the No New Friends podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh, who's this guy that showed up here? Oh no, oh no, it's Matt from Wii Sports. Shoot, I'm doomed. This guy couldn't get into Scott's neighborhood, but I think I'm in trouble with him around. Hold on, who's he leading over here? Oh my God. Matt from Wii Sports is working with the Amish. I need to get to that last portion of the gauntlet here, or else I'm doomed. Would you rather have to eat ketchup or mustard on a banana? <laughs> oh, mustard, 100%. I know ketchup. Ugh, ew, ketchup is gross. I can't, I can't Mustard's do ketchup. Gross. What? Oh, I, I will open up a bag of Lay's potato chips and just squeeze some mustard in there. Oh, oh that's pre so That's awful. Good. Yeah. So good. That was, I'm pretty oh. sure that was the beginning of like the every to catch a killer documentary I've ever, ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to bring some context to something that you guys heard in that video, please. Um, there was something with uh, the, the boxing thing with the yes. teeth. That is a clip from our unheard, unpublished interview with the uh, <laughs> filmmaker uh, of the movie <laughs> upcoming film batshit uh that was todd wolfson <laughs> that, that's <laughs> really funny and uh, if you want to see that interview, it is, which has been unpublished, uh, it is on our Patreon. So to see that, you join our clubhouse for as low as $2 a month, uh, you'll have access to that video. It is, uh, it is a very interesting interview that you're definitely going to want to check out. So, uh, in, in you know what? Before we get to the rest of uh, Chris's vacation update, Sarah. Yes. Do you have a Jimmy Carter update for us? And also, He's... what other celebrities did we lose this week? Well, he's still hanging out in hospice. Um, no change since last week. So, he's still hanging in there. Um, last this guy week... will never die. Yeah. Like, right. He was in no. hospice six months ago. Is he faking it, the end of his life? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then we get an update. We, we all got the Apple update last week where it's like Jimmy Carter is entering his final days. Well, his final days have now lasted over a week because I remember last week on like Sunday going, just please live till Wednesday. Please live till Wednesday so we can talk about maybe. it. And here we are two Wednesdays. Yeah, maybe hospice is really nice and he knew that. So he's like just punking everyone. It's like he doesn't have to take that debt with him so that's going to somebody else He'd probably go to taxpayers we're probably paying for his hospice care he doesn't have to pay for it in the afterlife it must be nice <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> and his wife has no idea who he is so she could be like i don't know that guy <laughs> oh my god all right um, woman. <laughs> continue sarah sorry I'm, I'm ruining a good bit no no that's okay um let's see we lost wwe hall of famer terry funk I don't know Did, if any of you know who that is. Chris yes. does. Does he have a nickname? Um, yeah, it's Terry just... Funk. That was his ring name. So, when you have a name like Terry Funk, you're not going to make something up. It's just true, Terry Funk. True. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 79. He was 79 yeah. years old. Not very sad. Yeah, well, 
Hmm. Well, wait for it. All right. We lost Bob Barker this week. Really so not sad. Yeah. Not, 99 no. years old. What? That's sad. So- why is so it he got sad? he got as close to 100 without going over. <laughs> Kudos to you, Bob Barker. Good for him, he Seriously. pulled a Betty White. You. Okay, he did because he did. he's really like just a couple months away from his hundredth birthday. I think they did it on purpose. Sorry. But he yeah, must he be did. on like the Smucker's jar and everything. And here's the interesting thing about Bob Barker's death. More interesting than Bob Barker's death and that he died as close to 100 without going over is that. No surprise, Nick Castellanos hit a home run the same night. On his birthday, yes. On his bet, birthday. You got to bet the Nick Castellanos home run on a legendary death. Yeah, yeah. Day. So when Jimmy Carter dies, make sure you put uh, all of your money on Nick Castellanos hitting a home run. So did we lose anybody uh, else, Sarah? No, nope. That's it for this week. We did. So we'll I hope see. you want to get the press. We did. We oh. did, we did oh. lose WWE superstar Bray Wyatt at 36 years old. And I did uh, lock myself in my office with the lights off uh, and did we <sighs> for a very long time because of that. But I'm, you know what? I was really happy that you didn't bring it up. I don't know why I brought it up because it just makes you really depressed. Yeah. Well, USA Today doesn't know that he died. So well, USA <laughs> Today is racist. <laughs> Oh, is he a black dude? He's very white, actually. But he's from the bayou. I was going to say, I thought Terry Funk was black until I saw the picture of him. (laughs) That might be racist, actually. (laughs) The one picture they have of him is very dark and just his side, so I have to say. (laughs) All right, uh, Chris, what else happened on your vacation? (laughs) Just another couple of minutes. I uh, I did have to rent a scooter. I did scoot around. I had an electric scooter. Uh, I did go pretty fast. Was pretty excited about how fast it went. Um, uh, was not so excited about the speed after a few drinks. Uh, did wish that the <laughs> speed was on Walmart uh, scooter level. Uh, you know what? And I, I can't even really say me being upset about the speed. It was Emily that was really upset about the speed. Because... Um, I did have to leave a, an extra big tip for my room attendant because there was uh, it did not look I'll just put it this way. It did not look the same way that we arrived when we left. Uh, not a very good parallel Parker, not a very good reverse uh, driver. <laughs> um, but hey, you can't. What I did learn on this trip is you cannot discriminate against a handicap. Uh, mm-mm, mm-mm, I was mm-mm. I was a handicap disabled. You can't say handicap. I was handicapped. You can't say handicap. I was handicapped. You handicap is very disabled. offensive to the disabled. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not offended by it, Scott. <laughs> I'm uh, well. <laughs> I'm, a handi- I'm a handicap, Scott. Well, when I tell you where, where handicap, handicap came handicap from, parking. I no, it's disabled parking. Not I will tell here. you. Well, <laughs> at, um, maybe you says, guys are not as woke as we are down I, here in Florida. Maybe no, we always say like, twice we about this surface. We always say handicap accessible. Yeah, well, no, it's it's wheelchair. It's disabled accessible. Handicap is a is a term. And Chris, this does uh, you are handicapped, but it's I when am. the homeless would sit on the corners and they would have their caps out. Uh, it, it, that's what it was called handicap because they would hold their caps out looking what, for a handout. What in the Ronda Sandis are you talking? about? <laughs> <laughs> Look up the definition of handicap. I, will, I okay. you. All right, I will say it then. I was okay, temporarily disabled. I'm temporarily there you disabled. Go. Yes. So uh Well maybe a, were you uh different abled? Um don't know what that means, but uh don't know if you're baiting me into something, so I will just stick with disabled. <laughs> um baiting you into <laughs> being a master. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know what I did so so no one can discriminate against you except if you are um Oh, Nick. Okay, I got to interrupt you real quick. So, big announcement. Nick is now our fifth member. <laughs> I know exactly uh, what you're going to say. The name of our <laughs> podcast, okay? And I was waiting for Chris to be here to make that announcement, but Chris wanted to, you know, or Nick wanted to, to jump in there and announce it last week. Okay. Well, welcome to the No New Friends podcast, Nick. Again. Yeah, again. Thank again. You. With that being said, if you ever use a metal straw again in one of your cups, you will be fired <laughs> faster than uh, my night's... <laughs> Costco. I heard it stir a little bit, and I saw your face <laughs> shift a little more. <laughs> the amount of lectures that Mary has received from me. 
and I never drink either and decided to have a drink tonight. So that's what I did. Every, and Chris has to have silent fidget toys. Uh, it's you see true. how carefully Sarah drinks her mimosa <laughs> ever so slowly. slowly brings yeah. that I know. I'm like, does she have like eight bottles like already pre popped? Like. <laughs> the answer is yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, Chris. I just had to. Uh, I was distracted by the clinking of a metal straw, and I uh, had to address that. So, just a couple more things. So, I, I was in this electric scooter. I did bring it off the boat. I did go into uh, into town with these, and uh, um, v- some of these store owners are very racist against the uh, handic- uh, against the disabled. <laughs> um, when you don't have a ramp going into your store, that's racist. Uh, <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> it's, 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 it's racist to get accessible. Yeah, which is which is honestly, it's illegal. First of all, and second of all, I sp- like, there's my uh, DNA in every one of those. Stories. I spit in every single one. Uh, <laughs> mouth was super dry by the end of the day. Very, very. Uh, there was a lot, and then and then there's Nick, a ram. Do you have any tips for uh, re uh, moisturizing or re lubricating your uh, your <laughs> mouth? Mm. I, I, I can't say that right now because we have actual <laughs> listeners. <laughs> uh, what, what what's also racist against the disabil- d- disabled uh, is uh, when you do have a ramp, but your clothing racks are too close together. Uh, listen, I'm bringing. I, I brought lots of racks, ten feet where they're supposed to be. I didn't give a shit, Scott. I, I listen, if your rack was not within wheelchair uh width, I was taking that rack to the back of the store. I, I, I went up to pay for I'm a sticker. It with you. I went up to pay for a sticker at one store for three dollars and brought the rack from the front of the store to the back of the store, pretending like I didn't even know it was on my right eyebrow. Speaking of racks, if your wife has a great rack, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your balls are cleanly shaven. Okay, so visit <laughs> Manscaped.com. Get yourself a lawnmower 4.0. Okay, you're going to use it. It's got a little flashlight on it. It's got some uh, patent technology uh, with the ceramic guard. So no nicks, no cuts. Just use promo code NNF for 20% off your discount. That's Manscaped.com. Okay, back to the uh, clothing racks. So I will finish this story now if anybody wants to know more uh if you're a patreon member i will give you my personal address you can come by my house i will tell you because i can't drive yet so i have a lot of time at my house um the last thing was the what's uh, really funny sorry i had abby take out her headphones but i did the, i was the one who was saying this stuff uh, so was, she's still sitting in the room she i was right. thinking like, that <laughs> <laughs> we're very smart on this podcast <laughs> So, of course, the most fun thing on this cruise, and uh, in case you're reading the transcript and not listening to me talking, I'm being sarcastic, is every time I get into an elevator, uh, people ask me, oh, so what happened to your leg? That was the first couple days. And then the second and third day was, oh, my gosh, please don't tell me you did this on this cruise. Like, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the cruise ship wrapped me up real nice and gave me a complimentary electric scooter. Like, yeah, that's exactly. I did it on the cruise. <laughs> So I, I just kind of started going with it. Go ahead, Nick. The, sh- the ships have really nice like doctors areas. I mean, they can perform surgeries. Apparent, and they have really morgues on. They have morgues on there. Oh, so well, I would never want to. Know, I, uh, I hope this is the only reason I ever know that. Um, <laughs> but, so I just started getting. Sarah's like, already been there. She's like, are there any celebrities or presidents in there? <laughs> I'm mortified, actually. It's fine. Day one, <laughs> day one, I I go to the uh, I get in an elevator. Embarkation day. What is it called? Embarkation day. Embar- embarkation and em- debarkation. Embarkation day. When when we embarked. I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, very. It might be the word of the week next week. <laughs> uh, I get in the elevator. They say what happened. I tell them the Achilles tendon story. Uh, day two, still the account uh, Achilles tendon story. Day three, I'm starting to get bored. So day three, I'm like, uh, just got back from Juno, slipped on an iceberg, believe it or not, slipped on an iceberg, uh, (laughs) twisted my ankle. They don't know if it's broken or not. They patched me up. Day four and five are starting getting really bored. I said, listen, believe this or not, vacation to Orlando last week, uh, stayed with a friend. Don't know why, but his shower was extremely slippery. Slipped in the shower, <laughs> twisted my ankle. Don't know if it's broken or not. I just got progressively weirder and weirder as the as the uh, trip went on. But um, I'll tell you what, 
I kept my cast. I put hinges on it so I can take it on and off. You get great treatment on the cruise ships with the cast. And me and everyone I was traveling with, it's like, listen, you have to do something uh, horrible before we go on vacation next time. Yeah, because this is the greatest experience we've ever had in our life. So I do strongly encourage you to not only book with St. Barbara Vacations, but to um, have some extreme injury, Uh, not life threatening, but like life altering injury before your cruise. Great treatment through Royal Caribbean. Nothing but the best. I say it's definitely good to hear that from a travel agent perspective, because like I said, this was something new that came up literally two weeks before the cruise, which thank you for putting me to give me even more work to do. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's nice to hear that. And it's great to see that the cruise ship took care of you. (laughs) Unfortunately, there was no handicap or we call them handicap accessible rooms. Disabled accessible. uh, It's not listed as that (laughs) on the website. Um, the ones with the wheelchair on it. So they didn't have any of those rooms available, but those rooms on those cruise ships are freaking ridiculously huge. Yeah. Wish like, I, wish I could have seen um, that. Wish I could have so seen that. Next time we'll, we'll give you an upgrade. Now, uh, one more final thought on the cruise ship before I do, do sign off was the employees in the cruise ship. There's a really cool side. There's a really weird side to the employees, right? The really cool side. We went to the, my time dining, which on Royal Caribbean is you go to a, you go to the dining room, you get your like three course meal meal it's all complimentary and you only got uh, three courses because i usually get like seven <laughs> <laughs> the fourth the fourth fifth and sixth course was the friend that i had that had the alcohol package that was slipping me drinks the whole time um the 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 uh the waitress came up to me the last night and looked like came over to me and said listen i was praying for your injury last night so like, oh my gosh like, it's the sweetest thing ever she's like can i please take a picture with you and your family i hope that every family i have is like you guys and she she took a picture of the coolest <laughs> thing ever now going a total 180 from the coolest and sweetest thing ever to the weirdest thing ever was there was a burlesque show i texted scott during the burlesque show <laughs> that's right and i was like scott <laughs> scott wish i had a vasectomy because man I could do some stuff during this burlesque show, but not leave a, not leave a trace, right? And uh, the weird thing about the burlesque show is that you're on a cruise ship. You're not in Vegas. You're not in Atlantic City. You're not in, I guess, Orlando, Florida. And, uh, and but you're on a cruise ship, so they recycle the workers. So I'm seeing my damn room attendant. Uh, in, this, <laughs> in this burlesque show, I'm seeing the janitor that just picked up my potato chip bag two days ago raising her legs and um very very interesting when the room attendant came in the next day i just it's just one of those things where you have to pretend you didn't see them at the burlesque show uh the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the show was called live live love legs and uh for some reason everyone wanted to go see it so i was there with my family very weird very weird uh experience uh what was weird to me with, there with my family was being there with like the person that was serving me cookies for free every day uh, <laughs> <laughs> well at least you at least you were in a wheelchair where you couldn't you couldn't stand up to show anybody that you are enjoying the show <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and chris i want to thank you you actually texted me while we were recording after dark and i read that text message uh to to uh, the guys and it's sp- Spawn some very interesting conversations oh. about like there should be some because I asked you are, aren't you on a Disney cruise and we're like what if they did a burlesque show on a Disney cruise that and would then be it interesting. led to some yeah. Disney princess fantasies mm-hmm. uh, so if you want to hear all about that check out uh, last week's After Dark <laughs> for legal purposes we're not going to get into that tonight but you can you can listen to it <laughs> last week before it gets taken down yeah it's marked explicit it's fine perfect. you can say whatever you want perfect yeah but that was my cruise and again this was would not be possible without Nick from St. Barbara Vacations who got me my shower stool. Because if I did not have my shower stool, I would well, not be able to shower. It wouldn't be possible without your credit card. So thank you. That is also, <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> and for supporting my child's future education. Yes. <laughs> 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 all right uh when we come back we've got jersey man florida man and we've got a new thing that we are going to try this week we'll see how it works uh but it's dedicated to a very special clubhouse member you're listening to the new friends podcast
picture it. St. Augustine, Florida, 2022. You're on the Night Watchman Ghost Tour with all of your ghoul friends. The air grows colder, you turn the corner, and there she is, Ghost Mary. Okay, you probably won't run into Ghost Mary. Um, you may see a ghost named Mary. I'm not really 100% sure, but the tour guides for the Night Watchman Ghost Tour from Sea America Tours do know it is the only 4D ghost tour in St. Augustine. So if you have ever wondered what a ghost smells like, well, now is your chance. And right now they have a scary good deal going on. Enter the promo code NNF, as in no new friends, and receive 25% off your Night Watchman Ghost Tour. So visit them at seeamericatours.net. That is S-E-E, -E, americatours.net. Okay, bye! Hey there, Scott here. You all know I like to spend time wandering the neighborhood on my, my big wheels or hanging out at the park with my fedora and my Bud Light. So I don't have time to clean my own house. That's why... I've been using I Believe services for the past six, seven years, and they're the best in commercial and residential cleaning. They're also doing carpet shampooing at such a reasonable price. Just check them out. That's IBelieveServices.us. Give them a call, 407-928-4595, and tell them that the No New Friends podcast sent you. Hi, this is comedian Miguel Colon, and you're listening to the No New Friends podcast. Welcome back to the No New Friends podcast. Please do us a favor, uh, a couple favors. One, if you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple or anywhere that you listen, uh, please give us a five star review. Give us a rating, a good rating uh, or a five star rating, a good review, all that good stuff. It really helps us. It helps with the algorithms. It helps push us up to the top. Also, please tell at least two friends about our podcast and make sure that they tell two friends about our podcast. We really want to grow and I'm not very good at marketing. So we need your help. We need your help to spread uh, the, 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 the good word. Now, Nick is helping me a lot with marketing, mostly telling me I'm doing such a good job with my reels. Uh, and Nick, that means They're a good. lot to me. They're good. Yeah, that means a lot well, to me. And uh, speaking of reviews, I actually have a review pulled up here that I want to share with you guys. Oh, um, oh. it's from the real, the real Black Panther. They read us a review Ooh. on March 27th. I thought he died. Um, Oh. He, oh, he's right. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I'm a psychic reader now. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, he says, best podcast ever, rolling on the floor with laughter. These guys are so funny and girls will say it. These people. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> they weren't PC on it. Um, and I look forward to Sunday nights every week. So thank you to the Real Black no. Panther for listening to us from the beyond or wherever you are. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Wakanda right, forever. Are, <laughs> are you guys ready to play Jersey Man, Florida Man? Yes. Always. I was not good at this, so. I feel very bad for that joke. <laughs> Where the flip in a fan boat, a crash in a truck, these states are filled with people who suck, so it's time for us to play New Jersey Man. Florida Every week, Ryan brings us two news stories. One is from Florida. One is from Jersey. It is up to us to determine which one is which. Take it away, Ryan. Hey, guys, this is Ryan coming to you from the No New Friends newsroom located this week in a Starbucks. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, Ryan, why are you in a Starbucks? You hate to taste that burnt bean water. And you'd be right. Coffee tastes like the devil's diarrhea. I'm here today because Mary asked me to meet her here. I guess Mary's finally getting up the nerve to talk to Cameron. And she asked me along to be Carmen. her wingman. You know, I figured Nick would be a better wingman since he's touched more boobs than Chris and Scott combined. But after Mary called him lackluster last week, he wasn't willing to help. To be fair, she was drunk when she said that. The sophisticated gentleman could have been her wingman, but he was too busy making his segment 20 minutes long for no new friends. I was a little surprised that Mary didn't have my phone number blocked, but I guess she kind of reserves that for her children. It's just like when Scott blocked his illegitimate child that tried to get in touch with him from the Adoption Connections Facebook group. Oh, here comes Mary now. I guess the odds of her showing up to Starbucks are better than the odds of her showing up to the podcast. Mary, I'm glad you made it without getting another DUI. Wait, you're sober? 
But I thought drinking made you an introverted extrovert, which coincidentally is what the doctors used to call Scott's right testicle. Well, let's get in line and see if we can't find this Cameron. Is that her? Cameron, it's real? I thought for sure she was just one of the voices in Mary's head, or the dancing cow from the Chick-fil-A across the street. Well, it's almost our turn to go up there and talk to her. Cameron doesn't look like she's feeling well. Oh, she just grabbed her stomach. She collapsed. I guess it's true that hot girls do have stomach problems. (laughs) If only we had a medical professional around to help her. Mary, what are you doing? I don't think she needs CPR. She just passed out. All right, if you're going to do it, let me at least read off the steps to you, because I know you can only take one piece of advice at a time. (laughs) Step one is to check the scene and make sure the person is safe. Well, it's a young woman passed out, and I don't see Scott around, so I think she's okay. All right, it says you might have to remove any undergarments. Mary, you didn't have to take her bra off with her teeth. Is that how they teach you to do it in school? Mary, button her pants back up. You ain't got to worry about down there. Okay, so let's start chest compressions. Put your hands in the middle of her chest. Mary, in the middle of her chest. Get your hands off of her. Jeez, now Mary's touched more boobs than Scott and Chris combined. All right, now you have to do the mouth-to-mouth breath. Okay, that was good, but less tongue next time. Oh, Cameron just sat up. I guess it was just some indigestion. Well, Mary, we better get out of here before you end up on one of the watch lists Scott's on. So while we get out of here before the police show up, let's get into this week's Florida Man or Jersey Man. And for our first story, four dog groomers win a $1 million Powerball. Wow. And for our second story, an eight-year-old wins the Reading is Fundamental poster contest just because he wanted to. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Chris missed half of those jokes because he didn't listen to last week's episode. So (laughs) it's on you, buddy. (laughs) It's all right. Scott called me and he's like, listen, and he he, 45 minutes. He explained every single joke to me. Uh, just so I wouldn't miss. Uh, first one's going to be <laughs> Jersey, Dog Powerball. Second one's going to be Florida, because I just think it is. All right? Don't ask okay. me why. All right, Nick, what are your thoughts? I feel like the Powerball story would be from Florida. I just feel like everybody down there is old and just plays lottery every single day. <laughs> All right, Sarah? I'm going to go with Nick on this one. I just have a feeling the first one is Florida. Yeah, I, I agree with Nick and Sarah. Powerball is Florida, and reading fun, reading is fundamental poster winner is Jersey. <laughs> All right, let's find out the answers. So our first story is from New Jersey, where four dog groomers <gasps> share a $1 million prize after they bought 10 lottery tickets and matched all five numbers. It's a little known fact that Scott is actually a dog groomer, but not the same type of groomer these four were. He's more of the (laughs) Epstein-style groomer. Wow. So that means our second story is from Florida, where in 1998, a lackluster eight-year-old from Daytona Beach by the name of Remy Archer won the Reading is Fundamental poster contest. Remy said that he did it just because he wanted to, and that maybe he could go to Washington if he won. I don't think he's ever left the state of Florida. He also said in the article that when he grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. Didn't say anything about him driving a tank or working for a theme park or hosting a podcast. Or I think he's done every other job but astronaut. <laughs> Anyways, in other news, a top Scottish ultramarathoner is disqualified for using a car in a race. She blamed jet lag and a miscommunication. And speaking of jet lag, I just want to welcome Chris back to the podcast. And guys, cut him a little slack if he's cranky tonight. He's still adjusting back to this time zone. And he's four hours off of his normal masturbation routine. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me this week, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Uh, thank oh. you, Ryan. You knocked that out of the park. Ryan, right? that was very ostentatious of you. <laughs> <laughs> and he used lackluster. Yeah. I love it. Uh <laughs> Um, is that true about Remy? Did he win the reading is fundamental contest? I think his uh, wife gave really him the good. award. Now, I have to know now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Wait, that, they're saying in chat. Yes, wow. that's true. Was it elementary huh. school? So Remy's from Daytona. It all makes sense now. He found the article. A couple <laughs> of weeks ago. We're going to have to publish this on Facebook. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to look that up. Wait. Was it, was Wait. it awarded by Remy's Wait. round table? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I've got a new feature I want to try out. We'll, we'll see how well it goes. We'll see if it's something that we stick with. Okay. So the way that this is going to go is every week we're going to have kind of two wheels um one is going to tell us a movie and the other is going to tell us 
how we're recasting it. Okay, so we're going to recast a blockbuster movie. This week, since it's our first week, I wanted to do something special for Game Master Ryan because we all we're always dogging on him. We're dogging on each other, whatever. And I feel bad. We did an interview last night. Uh, I had sophisticated gentlemen on. I didn't have him on. Usually they're package deal. So what we are going to do is we are going to recast a blockbuster movie with a, another IP. Okay, so this week we are going to recast Back to the Future with the Muppets. Okay, this is for this is for Game Master Ryan. Okay, so here's the rule of this: one character has to be human, and everybody else is Muppets. Uh, okay, now we're not going to do janitor number four or anything like that. We're just going to do kind of the main characters. So in this, for this case, for Back to the Future, we're doing Marty McFly, Doc Brown, um, <clears throat> the, the the mom, uh, Lorraine, George McFly, Biff, um, and uh, we'll do Jennifer Parker. Okay, and oh, and Mr. Strickland. And the mayor. This is a lot so, of people. I was gonna say, it's I don't not, that, it's not that many. Track. It's not that many. <laughs> That's not that many. Okay, so first we have to decide who's the human here. Who are we going to keep as the human, and who are we, who are we recasting? Okay, can I ask a question, Scott? Of, of course. I figured that we'd be confused by this, <laughs> even though you and I talked about this this week. Yeah, but I need to know details. So, okay, this is a, a movie that's coming out in. 2023 or 2024 even we're recasting it now okay so i'm gonna assume that we can't have michael j fox on set no no yeah because that would be um i don't know if that was uh, well i just don't think it'd be good for film right right unless it was a show a bio i mean if they himself. shook the camera the whole time then it would keep stabilize him it'd be fine i was talking about like um you know 2023 <laughs> is not the 80s anymore scott what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been in a movie in forever. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, we got to keep Doc Brown as the human. I don't know if you could replace him. I agree. I agree. Which is a shame because I was thinking, you know, we could cast, uh, you know, uh, Bunsen Honeydew as Doc Brown. That'd be fun. But I agree. I think he needs to be the human. So who uh, who do we cast as Dr. Emmett Brown, the human? I thought I just said that, that he'd be the human. Oh, you're going to keep him as Christopher Lloyd. I thought that was the whole point. I thought you meant like we keep the human. If not, I guess Albert Einstein. <laughs> Someone who's alive. We're recasting it in 2023. Right, I, I, How is this fine, so difficult? Fine. All right. Albert Einstein's dead. Let's pick a guy who's almost dead. Let's go Jimmy Carter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't see how we reach that. Rob. One last, one last <laughs> one. That's the future. We're, ca- we're casting the Mupp- <laughs> Muppets to the Future, starring Jimmy Carter. Although, right. although, if you want another almost dead guy, Joe Biden would be a pretty funny Doc Brown. I like that better. That's kind of good. We're gonna, we're gonna give Joe wait, Biden. Wait, 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 Scott. Debut. Scott, what yes. better? Mitch McConnell, who froze again today. Oh, Mitch McConnell oh, might be. Oh, you don't have to pay, if it's by each. If we pay him by the word, it won't be much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> we'll go Joe um, Biden though, for the sake of uh, people who don't know who Mitch McConnell is. We'll go Joe Biden. I, I like that, Joe Biden. Yes. Okay, so Joe Biden is Doc Brown. I love who that. Who are we casting as Marty? Who Ooh. are we casting as Marty? I have, I have kind of my idea. Oh, me too, actually. I haven't okay. seen this movie in forever, so I'm like horrible right now. Well, Michael J. Fox role, the the the, the kid, he's a 17 year old okay. uh, high school. Um, Sarah, you've got an idea. I can see it on your face. What are you thinking? No, 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 no. Well, actually, I'm confused. That's what that face is. <laughs> oh, I have a good answer. I have a good answer. Okay, should we say it at the same time? Because maybe yes. we're thinking the same thing. Three, one, two, two one, three. <laughs> Steve Scooter. Buscemi. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, is Scooter the rat? No, Scooter's the <laughs> Scooter and then his his sister Skeeter, whatever. He's the Skeeter, I thought that was Nick. The yellow face <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the rat. Rizzo uh, the rat. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The rat would be good Marty. Does he wear a backwards hat? You think the rat should be any he, Muppet, Scooter is he yes. wears a green jacket? Yeah, he wears okay. a Marty McFly jacket. Right? Okay, so, so you're I think so. Scooter? You don't have to buy any wardrobe for him. He's got it all already. <laughs> so are we going with Scooter or are we going with Rizzo the Rat? I don't know what a Scooter is. Scooter is the Muppet. I know what oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, 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 know the Muppet. Right. He's, he's like the nerdy kind of one. Let yeah, me look it up. Let me look it up. Okay. Okay. No, I, look, yes, I, I don't understand it. this. Uh, I don't no, understand no, no, this. No, no, no. He's the director. 
He's got a little <laughs> your pants on. So, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> You're so passionate about Muppets 3D. Like, I, like you have a heart on anytime the Muppets get brought on. I play a up. character on Disney. And you too, have Scott. no idea. Who, so like, Scooter is one of the fab, the fab five of the Muppets. Like, he's one of the ma- major Muppets. I strongly disagree. That he's a Fab Five Muppet. Oh, but yeah, let's nah, for yeah. another conversation. Yeah, that is a different conversation. Okay. So are we going Rizzo the Rat or Muppet? Or, let's or, take a uh, vote. Scooter let's for take a, Mike, let's Marty. take a vote. Rizzo looks like Rizzo. Like I'm fine with Rizzo. Oh, I'm fine yeah, with Rizzo. I agree with Chris. Scooter looks like a director. He looks. Yeah, he looks. Okay. Rizzo looks like he could be Marty. I'm showing it on Twitch right now. Like Rizzo yeah, is Yeah, I agree. Marty. Okay. All right. Rizzo is Marty. So we're casting (laughs) Rizzo as Marty McFly. All right. The parents, uh, Lorraine Baines and George McFly. I think this is it. For me, it's an easy one. It's Piggy and Kermit. Uh, I was going to say Statler and Walter. Oh, it's a, why it's not? Good. Why not? We have to make it correct. Really yeah, maybe he had he had two dads. We need representation. Yes. I'm not. I'm That's not opposed to that. It's 2023, yeah. which is right. I added bitches okay, for so emphasis. Stadler and Waldorf. Yeah, I okay. love that. I, I love that too. That was kind of okay, hot. So- <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna play uh, uh, Marty's girlfriend, Jennifer Parker? Oh, uh, Miss Piggy. This is a tough one, right? No, Miss Piggy is his mom. He no, can't, it's not. No. Stadler and Waldorf. Oh, right. He's got two dads. Yeah. So wait a second. So now, now do we have to uh, recast no. Rizzo, Kermit the Frog? No, no, Rizzo. Okay, no. Marty so- is Rizzo. All right. And then so Jennifer Parker is Miss Peggy. Kermit's janitor number three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So we're going to go. See, I was thinking Ryan said Janice in chat. I was thinking Janice as well. If I knew if I knew what a Janice was, I might agree <sighs> She's with She's in the, um, the Electric Mayhem. Uh, How do you guys know so many Muppets? Uh, <laughs> Scott's, a lot. Scott's 55 I'm on years old. right now. <laughs> she, she is... <laughs> Janet, oh, Janet's like the stoner kind of one. Yes, Sarah's oh, yes. favorite mom. Yes. <laughs> I'm still trying to find her. <laughs> Sarah's rapping. She's mom. like, hey, you see my my face Sarah. lit up with Google. <laughs> it was your nickname in high school, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so so who are we going, Janice or Miss Piggy, with for Jennifer Parker? What do we say? I feel like sh- she's the sister, right? So yeah, we'll go no, to this, 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 the, the girlfriend. girlfriend. Oh, the girlfriend. girlfriend. It's not a porno, yeah. Nick. It's the it's the girlfriend. Uh, I, feel like the, I feel like the sister would be more of a stunner. So not Janice. We're not going to cast. Well, are we casting the sister? Okay, so Miss Piggy as Jennifer Parker. All right, are we casting the brother and sister? So the Janice is the. Uh, is the sister? I think we if and, we're casting the brother Teeth and Mister Teeth is the yeah Mister Teeth. Okay, uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna cast uh, uh, Lorraine's parents in. Okay, Mister Strickland, the principal. Oh, animal. No, Kermit would be a good oh, principal. Really? Mm. No, Kermit would be a good principal. I'm thinking Sam Eagle. Oh, he had an angry principal. I won't, I had like a fun one. So yeah, Kermit for me. I'd say Kermit. Yeah, I'd say Kermit. Kermit? We, got, we got to give yeah. him a semi-important role. We can't diminish. Uh, you're a slacker, uh, Marty, uh, and you're always going to be a slacker. Okay, <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, all right, okay. Um, and then fi- the uh, the mayor, Mayor Goldie Wilson. Uh, uh, he was a janitor. He was a janitor in 1955, but then he became mayor Gonzo. in 1985. Gonzo, that could be right? Oh, uh, that's perfect, Gonzo. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, <laughs> did we? Okay. So we didn't cast animal, right? No. Okay. So we've or Fozzie. got. Or Fozzie. Or Fozzie. And that's like, that's like my fab five there. Okay. I've got someone for Fozzie. So uh, the, the electric mayhem as the band in uh, 1955, when Marty has to play Johnny be good, uh, you just have the, the uh, electric mayhem in there. That. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so last but not least, we've got Biff Tannen, the bully. I got a goons. good one. I got a good one for Biff. Great one. Okay, go for it. It's got to be Sweetums, <laughs> right? I was thinking Sweetums, but I think like there's the bad there's oh, the oh, Swedish chef. Wait, uh, Pepe the prawn. 
as Biff would be so funny. Mm. Oh, that would be funny. I liked him at the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I'm also just reading down a list of Muppets. So I have no idea. <laughs> I'm like, fit or not. So can I Google fast we enough? Didn't, <laughs> we didn't cast Fozzie. Miss Piggy would Fo- be good as Biff, too. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. No, yes, Miss Piggy is Biff. And Ms. now the girlfriend is, is Pepe. And now it's a boyfriend. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yes. Because 2023. I think that's Fo- perfect. Casting. Fozzie was not good enough to be. No, Fozzie can be. Uh, he can be the, uh, I say, the Fozzie dog. can be the car because Fozzie is like really good at the car scenes. <laughs> Fozzie can be the car. Yeah. Okay. So Fozzie's the DeLorean. And then Rolf is the dog. Uh, <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> it was a little bit of typecasting. <laughs> Um, do we have any, are, are we going to cast the goons? Uh, no, I think the goons are just the generic, like uh, villain Muppets that they usually have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I I'm going to go out on a limb and say there was no more perfect of a casting than what we just laid forth. Yes. <laughs> I, I meant to write it down, but I forgot, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll write it down when I re-listen. Uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. What'd you guys think? Oh, I, I, I don't think it could have been I'm just any horrible better. at movies, and the fact that I didn't know all those Muppets, I'm like kind of mad at yeah. myself. So, so some of the options that we're going to have is it, we're going we're gonna to spin a wheel. Okay, this is the movie that we're going to do. And it won't be rigged which IP. at all. It, no, it won't. No, never. But uh, Muppets, uh, Disney characters, uh, what were some of the other um, uh, IP that we talked what about? What if we did like just gay people? <laughs> How many gay people we, do you know? No, I like it. I, I think it's a, no, I, no, no, no. Yes. We, we, like, no, we recast it. Elton John, it's, it's, Harvey Milk. Like, just like, just like <laughs> famous gay people. No, but listen, it doesn't and necessarily have to be. Gay icons. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, 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 a gay icon. It just could be some, like we, in a couple role, we cast them as two men or two women. Yeah. Like, we could recast LGBTQ+. I love that. I like, yeah. I, I, think, I don't know I where think, this is going anymore, but hey, Scott. Can we? Can you guys just move? I'm gay. Nick's on the mic, so it's time to take notice. And if you don't like it, that's homophobic. Stay the hell out of his way. Move, I'm gay. Uh, clearly, um, some of our <laughs> fans were <laughs> over that segment, and it's time for me to just cut you guys off there. Um, <laughs> you don't like furries, Nick? You don't like furries? Uh, uh, I, furry I, guy? I do, but <laughs> I was just very lost already. So, anyways, um, I just want to talk a little bit about Sam Pipe Provocations this week because there's a lot of great things coming up. Um, we haven't talked about me much yet, so um, we've <laughs> talked about Chris's Achilles tendons for probably 12 episodes now. We did talk about that? Uh, I was yeah. going to mention it. In case you forgot. Didn't um, leave that but long time. I am coming to Orlando in a couple weeks here. I know. So I know. we are going to go to Halloween Horror Nights on September 14th. And um, we're, a couple of us are going to uh, make it not so scary Halloween party on September 15th. So follow along on St. Proper Vacations social media, as well as No New Friends podcast. We're going to do some probably live streaming of me screaming like a little girl. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited might be to, to hang out with you guys. Yeah. It, or it might be Scott screaming like a little girl. We'll probably push him, in, <laughs> push him into the clowns or something like that. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm headed on a little Halloween tour. Uh, my husband and I are headed out west first for a couple days to California. I'm um, going to Universal um, Hollywood as well as Disneyland for Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, and again, you can book a trip through Sam Piper Vacations if I don't think Chris has mentioned it at all tonight. Um, but Sam Piper Vacations dot com comes later. That comes later. <laughs> I mentioned it like forty five oh, times, Scott. That was oh, yeah. oh, I'll send you a text. Scott, Thanks, Scott, Scott, was a, <laughs> Scott wasn't listening <laughs> at the beginning of it. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, the Disney Treasure so is a brand new cruise ship coming out from Disney Cruise Line. They were supposed to release the information today, but unfortunately, the hurricane um, that is scouring through Orlando right now and knocked one of Scott's plants down today. One of my plants <laughs> fell out today. It, it, it wasn't even the sad. entire plant. It was just one little branch. So <laughs> one, yeah, I had a leaf twig. fall, so I get yeah. it. Yes. So um, listen, we will we we will rebuild. <laughs> yeah, I set up a GoFundMe <laughs> for you, Scott. <laughs> So, um, because of the hurricane, unfortunately, um, causing so much damage there, we, um, <laughs> or Disney postponed it, not me. Um, so next week we should be finding out about the new Disney treasure cruise ship. It is going to be amazing. There's 
possible hints of Hodden Mansion on a cruise ship. Mm. Fingers crossed on that. Jump scare. I guess. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> Jump scare, death drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got for today. But um, thank you for listening and move. I'm gay. Nick's on the mic, so it's time to take notice. And if you don't like it, that's homophobic. Stay the hell out of his way. Move. I'm gay. Thank you so much, Nick. Um, Chris, you got any cliff notes? It's been quite the show, a lot of stuff's happened, so nothing can stop this little boy from recapping the day, the Chris is Cliff's Notes way. So I'm glad we talked about the hurricane. Good luck beating last week's, by the way, Chris. I, uh, I, 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 listen, I, I will beat last week's by just giving out a little thoughts and prayers. I do want to talk about the hurricane that came to Florida this week. I can't relate because the only thing that came close to me this week was Nick from Sandpiper. (laughs) (laughs) Now, Scott did just talk about how the panhandle got crushed. Absolutely just obliterated. The last time uh, they got crushed this bad was the 2020 election. So it's been a while. uh, So I do want, I I do just my thoughts and prayers do uh, go out to them. Now, I I do want to address the elephant in the room. Uh, This is my first Sunday episode with Nick, and it was a pleasure to see you this on a Wednesday, Nick. Uh, Usually make me pay for this. So I really appreciate (laughs) free of charge as being able to hang out. So thank you. That's what I do for my VIP clients. I do want to talk about this. This didn't. It's might not. And that's even, not because of the vacation. That's what he does uh, no. when the cameras aren't rolling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. This is true. Uh, I do want to talk about this. This did start. Uh, we might have talked about this before the cameras were rolling. Uh, Scott realized still that he, Scott realized he stole the tag on his shirt on his, on, his, on the shirt he's wearing. Uh, <laughs> he immediately just ripped it off. Uh, a little part of Sarah died inside when when he ripped that tag off. <laughs> I did just want to make that. I did just want to make that. And, um, now, last week, uh, Scott made the joke, oh, I hope that, it, that, it, that your cliff notes are as good as last week's. Ryan did fill in for me last week uh, from North Carolina. That Ryan, because there's 17 different Ryans. So Ryan from North Carolina. Yeah, and Ryan. it takes 17 of them to replace you because of the weight gain. <laughs> oh, thank you, Scott. I didn't mention that the fact that I was on an all-you-can-eat cruise and in a wheelchair and I did get not, no steps in. Uh, attribute it to more weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, don't want to blame you, you know, got wheels in as long as as long as you don't weigh yourself, you didn't gain any weight. Uh, I learned that from President, <laughs> President Trump, also known as inmate two, five, seven, two, three, four. That, that mug shot, though, that was fantastic. Uh, he, um, he looked like the, the, the Fratelli's mom in the Goonies. <laughs> I want to be the bigger man and, you know, you can make the bigger man jokes if you want. But I do want to thank Ryan <laughs> from North Carolina uh, from for being on last week, filling in for me, doing Cliff Notes. Um, I thought he was great. I really did. What I didn't think was great, that he didn't mention me at all. No recognition or anything, which, you know, after a week, I do understand. Ryan is so broke, he can't even pay me any respects. I. <laughs> how do you get a cheaper value hotel room at disney you go through nick from sam piper vacations they'll find you a cheaper uh broom closet at uh, uh scott led off segment two by saying we have so much more of chris's alaskan vacation which he also did say was just five minutes more uh, it does unfortunately <laughs> confirm that five minutes is a long time for Scott. Just wanted to take the time out and say, I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Nick used a metal straw and uh, Scott's face. <laughs> you should have saw it. Scott's face was insane. Now, if you are not watching us on if Twitch If you want live, to see us. Okay, yeah, go. exactly. If you, if you want to see Scott's face live, you can follow us on Twitch. If you don't follow us on Twitch, just bring a minority into Scott's neighborhood. He'll probably have the same face. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's so messed up. (laughs) I hope you guys get this one. In New Jersey versus Florida, man, uh, Ryan said that he hated the taste of bean water. Scott does too. Well, at least he thinks he does. He's never made a bean wet, so he's not sure. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I didn't understand that a couple weeks ago, but uh, (laughs) you guys explained it to me. And uh, lastly, uh, Ryan went on in Jersey man versus Florida, man, to explain a lesbian fantasy very very descriptively uh again not a joke um but why did everyone's camera turn off on riverside except for nick <laughs> <laughs> and those are my cliff notes it's been quite the show a lot of stuff's happened so nothing can stop this little boy from recapping the day the chris 
Mrs. Cliff Snow's way. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Hey, this is Alex from Diz His, along with Chris from the No New... Wait, what, we, what is this an ad for? This is an ad for Diz His on No New Friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of place. So yeah, we're on a Disney podcast, right, Alex? Yeah, you and me now. Um, we're doing a Disney podcast, Disney History, every week on Tuesdays. It drops. Social media is Diz His Pod. Yeah, if you ever need cleansing of the uh, obscurities that you hear on this show, check us out on Diz His Podcast, where we do something way more innocent. And if you love Alex's segment, which is me, my history segment, then you'll love our full episode of Disney History. Yeah. If you want a big load of Alex, listen to the Diz His podcast. You're going to love it. A uh, little bit of me, a lot of Alex. Uh, it's like half and half, but a lot of Alex. A lot of Alex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of you, too. You also give up a big load yourself. That's fair. Chris, what's coming up on Diz His? So Scott instructed me to keep this short. Uh, said, what do you mean short? I'm not really good at outros. He sent me a picture of his penis <laughs> and said, this short. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep this, this short and sweet. Um, there's a lot of pressure tonight. A lot of pressure doing a Sandpiper ad with Nick in presence. Um, because this is just a lot. It's a lot of pressure. I haven't had this much pressure since Nick was pressing on my prostate. <laughs> 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 anyway guys if you want to book a vacation but don't want to book a vacation reach out to nick at sandpipervacations.com tell him that a new friends podcast sent you he's gonna do all the dirty work for you and maybe if you're lucky he'll do some of the dirty work for you um <laughs> I went on vacation and didn't do anything except for go on vacation. Thanks to Nick from San So Nick, from the bottom of my prostate, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Family Friendly Diz His, we go, uh, we talk about the world of motion. That's so funny because literally this is like the raunchiest uh, segue and we go into Family Friendly Diz His. Oh, I almost was going to say, like, um, when you're talking about your prostate, like, Thanks for not eating Mexican food that night. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, he starts I, in Canada. I, I thought I should leave that part out. <laughs> we, uh, we break down uh, the world of motion, which um, oh, I when, love that attraction. Well, I'll tell you what, Scott, I had no idea what it was because what Nick um, showed me the world of motion was, and then what Alex <laughs> told me the world of motion was totally Two different, different things. attractions <laughs> attracted to both. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear me talk about something I've never written on before, listen to Dizzes this week and you'll you'll hear uh, me talk about the world of motion. No idea what this ride was. Sounds really fascinating. Scott's 75 years old, so Scott's written on it. He says it's good. So I take his word for it that it was probably okay. Uh, listen to Dizzes this week and you get the his on the world of motion. Fantastic. And uh, I, congratulations on getting your cast off. It Thank must be you. fun to be free. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Listen to Dizzes if you want to get that joke. <laughs> uh, you can connect with Dizzes on all social media. That's Dizzes Pod on on every uh, every uh, social media platform, and their episodes come out every Tuesday. We've got a number of other great podcasts to tell you about. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast, uh, where two guys talk about random stuff. They're really funny. Uh, you got Matt and his friends. It's a great show. Make sure you check that out. We also have Don't Wreck Yourself, where Ryan takes on that Gordian knot that is the Internet's BS. And uh, they they uh, debunk things from the Internet. It's a super fun show, especially the Indiana Jones episode. I love that one. Uh, and then Cases of Continuity. This sophisticated gentleman is bringing you through the James Bond series. I'm not allowed to say the Bond series anymore. The James Bond series and uh, connecting the continuity and whatnot. 
And then also uh, Chuck LaFlange, Ashes to Awesome, where he takes you through the journey of his rise from uh, addiction and into recovery. Chris, what you got to talk to us about? Listen, if you're into balls and strikes, Nick, don't get excited. If you're into mm. baseball, balls and strikes, listen to <laughs> Studio 21, hold the on, baseball hold on, hold on, hold on. But please, Nick, baseball is a sport. They mm. wear the tight pants for their costumes, okay. uh, the little <laughs> stirrups, the button-up shirt. Mm. Uh, they throw balls at each other. And and then someone with a stick hits it. Yeah, you might like it. Oh, uh, okay. So if you want to know more about that. Stick, not dick, right? Well, hey, <laughs> it's in the eye of the beholder. So if you want to learn more about that, could be dick, could be stick. Uh, listen to Studio 21, the baseball podcast, where big country and see money breakdown. What's going on in the latest of the MLB? Then we have Big Beautiful Diz, which I actually went on a Big Beautiful binge. Wow. My wow. stuttering actually paid off. I've been on a big, beautiful a big, binge. Beautiful binge. Yeah, I a love big, that. beautiful binge. Yeah, a triple B. Um, I did the other <laughs> night. Uh, Emily fell it's asleep. Better than BBD. It is. Um, well, to uh, me, not to Nick. Don't know. What we're talking about Google it at the at your uh, when you're having family. Your, when you're having dinner with your family, definitely do that on your work computer. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I watched some big, beautiful Diz. He, he did a really good video on Pop Century the other day. Uh, very different from what he's been doing. Check him out on YouTube, Big Beautiful Diz, if you like uh, Disney stuff and the history of it, like myself. And lastly, I'd like to talk about, besides Nick, my lover. I don't know how else to explain him. Remy from <laughs> Remy's Roundtable. Uh, he breaks down literally everything. Uh, pronunciations. <laughs> um he he's he's the the pod father himself he's the our lord and savior remy the one who brings you the word of the week uh he breaks down the florida news and theme park news great great show we've got a rotating table of, of hosts that are on the show i love it awesome thank you so much and sarah uh what's coming up on the nerd archive podcast they are continuing to talk about ahsoka so the third episode just came out so they're going to be talking about that this week and Nick, uh, what podcast do you recommend? So I've been listening to a new one since Piper's in the kindergarten. It is called Teachers Off Duty, and it's basically a bunch of um, oh, TikTokers. Oh, I know that, that one. Went, yeah, a bunch of TikTok teachers that went viral and um, teach kindergarten and just talk crap about parents, basically. So Awesome. Sounds like what me and Scott talk about. Like on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm on a brand new podcast. It's called Creators United, where myself, the sophisticated gentleman and Dane from Big Beautiful Diz, we get together and, uh, you know, we're still kind of navigating through trying to figure out exactly what it's going to be, because it's not going to be like the Creators Club, which was all about podcasting. Uh, this is a little bit different. Uh, we had a great conversation and realized that Dane has some anger issues. He wants to kill groundhogs <laughs> and anybody who says anything negative about um, the uh, wonders of life pavilion. So it's it's a fun, fun time. And uh, it's it's a podcast that I don't have to host. So I love it. You can also check out us every Wednesday night, New New Friends After Dark, where we peel back the layers of the onion, the layers of life. Uh, and we're trying to save the world one episode at a time. Although last week talking about fantasy with Disney princesses, I don't know that we were trying to save the world one episode at a time. But anyway, uh, you can check us out every wednesday night don't forget check out our website you can connect with us on all of our social media all of our links are right there watch us uh every wednesday night when we stream these things live on twitch uh, that's www.twitch.tv slash nnf podcast you can join our patreon become a friend with benefits join our clubhouse and you can watch everything that we do everything that we do, uh, including interviews and uh, some other unseen stuff. Uh, just go to our website, nonewfriendspodcast.com. On behalf of the sophisticated gentleman, Game Master Ryan, our Lord and Savior, Remy, our producer, Alex, Nick, Sarah, Chris, Mary, I'm Scott. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.